ever episode of Shots Fired. We're very excited to be here. We've got a fabulous panel of fierce, funny, femme fatales. Uh, we're going to be sitting around this table, being people, talking about current events, a lot of which might relate to feminism, badass women, that sort of thing. So we're going to now jump into just, just a good old chat. Then I think we can start it off with uh, badass women as a general topic. We could touch on the Beyonce, Jay Z, Rachel Ray slash Rachel Lloyd yes. scandal. Definitely. It brings up this like reoccurring issue, which is the fact that we see a lot of um, just kind of bickering and fighting and females tearing each other down a lot of times over Twitter um, in our current moment. But I think that's a theme, um, you know, since the dawn of time. It's women who are like, oh, I barely have any female friends. Like, so we're all very fight each other. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like, like yeah. yeah. It's just, no, I, I don't believe that because I do have female friends. But I do think that something that does happen a lot is this, like, the situation when that there is this mistress and you know even what will like the friends do. Yeah. It's kind of like what the beehive did, where it's like, oh, I'm gonna back you up, girl. We're gonna let her know. Yeah. And it's like, but that should not be the main focus. We're about. And it seems like Beyonce should be. Yeah. The queen has lost control. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Look at the lyrics. She like, does she attack him more. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, no. But it's that's the funny thing too is that with the whole album, everyone's talking about like the same thing in the one line. The Becky with the good hair. I'm like we're gonna find her. We're gonna let that Becky know. And it's like there's so much other things this in there. It's not that about, about Becky. It's yeah. not about <laughs> Becky, guys. Yeah. But okay. Um, I understand that with these type of cases, like you said, that there is a lot of ambiguity sometimes, and it is you're going off of word of mouth. I don't like. I have a, what I have a problem with is the argument of that you have to look at it that it's in a college context and that oh, yeah, you're right. young and it's alcohol and you shouldn't be, what you do in college shouldn't be the rest you know shouldn't stick with you for the rest of your life. The university should have like, oh uh, no, I you know you can go through no, four years yeah. of university without but, raping someone. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think it's possible. It's almost like they should have some sort of like. Rather than rehabilitation, like some kind of course beforehand of just how to not be an asshole, <laughs> like some kind of empathy it. training. Yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah, <laughs> like, absolutely. It's so not that, that we're trying to dumb all, all of that. All of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, the fact is, like, it's it's different down there. It's kind of like there's a, like a real celebrity culture surrounding yeah. it. Yeah. There's a lot of entitlement and privilege, and mm -hmm. minds can kind of. They blur in their heads. Somehow. They blur in their yeah, heads. Somehow. Yeah. 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 Yeah, what about the uh, skateboarding women in Afghanistan? Yeah, definitely, like, um, definitely badass and inspiring. I like all these little things that are popping up, um, especially with young girls, because I think that's the most important. Yeah, no, there's an organization that, I think it's called Skatistan? Yeah, Skatistan. Yeah. yeah, so it's someone's job, I guess, to like deliver space to the woods to Afghanistan. Okay, that job. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Hey guys, it's Mary. We're here on the streets of Toronto to talk to everyone about badass women. So today's episode is about powerful badass women. by Maya Angelou, you know, as a poet, and to see her perform, like, she's definitely a badass woman. My mom? Because, like, she was, uh, she, like, 
I was like two when my mom and my dad divorced, and she just she had a really like there's a time when we were on welfare, and she just she really struggled, but she just kept wanting to give me and my my brother like the best life we could possibly have. Um, and have you had any moments in your life where you're like I'm a badass bitch? Well, this week I'm doing uh, boxing classes like every day, so that feels pretty badass when they're just like okay now don't stop, and you're like I this 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 thing was a person they'd be dead right now, so that feels wow. pretty badass. So. Well, thanks, Mary. That looks like you had some fun with the fun people on the fun city streets of good old Toronto. Good old Toronto. Good old Toronto. Toronto. Good old Toronto. <laughs> the best. best yeah. Six. The six. So that brings us to the end of our first ever episode of Shots Fired. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> um, yeah, just as a quick recap, I'm Haley. I'm Sylvana. I'm Mary. And I'm Steph.